The reason you clicked on this video is probably because you saw an ad from one of these digital marketing boot camps like Simply Learn, Thinkful, General Assembly, or Brain Station. And you want to know whether these digital marketing boot camps that often charge thousands and thousands of dollars and they promise to be able to get you a job in digital marketing are going to be worth it or not. And that's exactly what I'm going to be going over in this video. This is going to be the top five best digital marketing boot camps, and we're going to be going over what, in my opinion, are the best options to get you a job in digital marketing. So I did a ton of research on this. I looked at like four different websites that rank these things. I looked at a ton of different reviews, testimonials, etc. And I'll be honest with you, digital marketing boot camps do not have the best reputation. If you look at boot camps for other types of careers, like tech sales, for instance, you'll see that most of them actually have pretty good rankings. A lot of them are five stars out of five you know, 4.9 out of 5, 4.8 out of 5, something along those lines. Whereas if you look at digital marketing boot camps, a lot of them are like 4.5 out of 5, 4.4, 3.9 out of 5, et cetera. So clearly digital marketing boot camps are not getting people as good of results as something like tech sales boot camps. But with that being said, are there no good options out there for getting into digital marketing? Absolutely not. There are still some very good options out there and those are the ones I'm gonna be going over in this video. So if you enjoy this type of video, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump right into it with number five on the list, which is going to be General Assembly. So General Assembly actually has two different boot camps. One of them is more of a beginner boot camp and the other one is advanced. The beginner boot camp costs about $3,950 and the advanced one costs just under $10,000. Now, according to Career Karma, General Assembly is 4.5 out of 5 stars. According to Course Report, it's 4.3 out of 5. And according to Trustpilot, it's 2.9 out of 5. But I will say there's only about five or so reviews. But with that being said, keep in mind the way these websites rank things kind of doesn't makes sense to me. So General Assembly might have like 10 different boot camps and they put all of the boot camps under the same ranking instead of ranking each individual one. So let's say General Assembly has a great digital marketing boot camp, but their tech sales boot camp is really bad. Well, it's really hard to tell unless you go through each individual review or testimonial and look at all of them, which I highly recommend that you do. So take the rankings with a grain of salt. But with that being said, the reason that I rank them number five is because they are one of the most affordable options at $3,950. A lot of the other ones are much more expensive than that. And they do have a lot of reviews. So when you see a boot camp that has a ton of reviews, you can trust that a little bit more than a boot camp that only has like five or 10. Because it's very easy to fake five or 10 reviews or just like, you know, reach out to five or 10 students and you never know what's happening behind closed doors they could be saying like oh we'll help you get into a partner company if you give us a good review or something along those lines but it's very difficult to do that with like over 500 reviews like general assembly has now one thing that is a massive pet peeve of mine that general assembly does here is where when they have reviews or testimonials they just have a picture of the person and something that they said so in this case it looks like kiki tolentino said getting exposure and time with our instructor and classmates meant we could get to know other industries and how they approach marketing problems this course gave me the confidence in my decision to move into marketing so first of all nothing about this review said that she actually got a job right she never said she actually got a job in this review second of all it's just a picture of her head and a quote there's zero context to what she's saying. For all you know, this is an exit survey where they ask the question, what was your favorite thing about this digital marketing boot camp? And then the next question could have been, what was your least favorite thing? But then they took the quote from the exit survey of what was your favorite thing and they acted like that's a review, right? There's zero context to this review. Plus the review itself didn't even say that she got a job. And for the price tag of $4,000, you need to be sure or at least reasonably sure that you're actually gonna get a job. And then on top of that, when I look at the sales page, this is the only review that they show on the entire sales page. Guys, if you're gonna be selling a $4,000 product, you need to have undeniable proof that it gets people what they want, which if people are taking a boot camp, their goal is to get a job. That's the whole purpose of a boot camp, right? So overall, you know, it does have decent reviews online. There's a lot of good things about it, but you know, they need to work on their sales page. They need to have way more reviews. This is, this is just totally not appropriate. Like if you're gonna sell an expensive product, you have to have proof that it actually works. So that's why I didn't make it higher on the list. Now, number four on the list is going to be BrainStation. And they had about a 4.5 out of five star rating on Career Karma. 
with around 200 reviews and a 4.7 out of 5 star rating on Course Report with over 1,100 reviews. So they also have two different options. They have like an online boot camp or online course type option, which is about $950. And then they have a boot camp, which is $15,000. So relatively good, not too bad. Um, and one thing that I did really like about this is they have more than one review and the reviews seem to be pretty good. They actually talk about getting a job, for instance. And they do the thing where they show a picture of the person and their name and then a quote, but you also have the option to click read full testimonial. So it does actually give some context. And it looks like they actually have another page on the website that has like a lot more testimonials. So that is a good thing. Um, it's not ideal. I think it would be much better to have like video testimonials where you actually ask them questions and you get their honest response rather than just showing a transcript. But with that being said, it's a heck of a lot better than a lot of the other boot camps that I looked at. So overall, you know, it was relatively good, but but the big problem here is the $15,000 price tag, right? Because the online course, you know, doesn't look like it gets nearly as good results as the boot camp, but the boot camp's $15,000. So, do I think people are getting jobs with this boot camp? Probably. Is it worth to spend $15,000 to get a job? Well, when there's other alternatives that are much cheaper and probably get even better results, the answer to that is probably not. So next one on the list, number three is going to be Thinkful. So Thinkful has a 4.8 out of five star rating on Career Karma with over 800 reviews, which is great. About 4.55 on Course Report with over 900 reviews, but they do get dinged a little bit on Trustpilot with a 2.7 out of five Trustpilot rating. So that's not that great. And then the bootcamp itself costs about $4,900. And at a price tag, like that, almost $5,000, you'd think that they have a bunch of reviews on their sales page, right? Well, unfortunately, there's one review and it's from Allison Short, but it is a pretty good review. It actually talked about getting a job, which surprisingly, a lot of these boot camps, their reviews don't even say that the person got a job, which just absolutely blows my mind. I mean, what are you spending $5,000 for to get like woke, to get educated? No, you're spending $5,000 to get a job. That's why you're spending that much money. I mean, you can buy like a $10 course on Udemy. You can look up stuff on YouTube for free. So why in the world would you spend all this money to just like learn information? The only reason you should be going to a boot camp is because you want to get a job. Now, one thing I noticed about Thinkful is this boot camp is actually very thorough. Some of the other boot camps actually leave out a lot of different digital marketing options. And with this Thinkful boot camp, uh, they go over digital marketing landscape first, then campaigns customer insight, branding, content marketing, email marketing, social media marketing, search engine marketing, analytics, and then portfolio. So it's actually really thorough all the different subjects they go into because there's actually a lot of different routes that you can go in digital marketing. And that's what makes it one of the best careers is it really doesn't matter whether you're super analytical or super artistic or you're outgoing, like extroverted or you're introverted, there's a route that you're probably gonna be happy with. So it's good to see that they actually go over a lot of different things here. So I really do think after reviewing um, Thinkful that I, I really think that they're actually getting people jobs, they're getting people results, even though they really need to have more reviews and testimonials. But the big question here again is, you know, is it worth $5,000? And again, I have to say no, because there's other options that are just as good, if not better, and they're much cheaper. And that brings me to number two on the list, which is technically not a boot camp, and that is Udacity Nano Degrees. So if you look on Career Karma, uh, it has a 4.9 out of five. If you look on Course Report, it's 4.72 out of five with over 600 ratings. And if you look on Trustpilot, it has 4.8 out of five with over 2,400 ratings. So lots and lots of people have rated Udacity. Now, one thing I will say is this is not really a fair apples to apples comparison because Udacity has a bunch of different courses. And a lot of the people that were rating on Trustpilot, for instance, might have been talking about like, you know, a $10 course or a $100 course, not a boot camp or a nano degree that costs somewhere between one to $2,000. Now, typically these nano degrees take about three to six months. So depending on how long you take to finish it, it's gonna cost you between one to $2,000. 
and they do have a decent amount of reviews and testimonials, which is great. What I liked about this program is they were very thorough. You know, they go over marketing data and technology, social media marketing, SEO, search engine marketing, digital advertising, and email marketing. And you can become a specialist in like each of these individual ones, right? Like you can get paid to just do email marketing, for instance. So it's really good to see that they gave people like a bunch of different examples here. That's great to see. So this review from Hassan A, which is like they could literally just have like made that person up like I'm not saying they did that but you could easily just make the person up right so this review from Hassan H doesn't even have a picture doesn't even have the last name and it's from 2017 it's from five years ago this degree this program probably isn't even the same as it was five years ago like it's definitely not the same. And if it is the same, then that's terrible because digital marketing is not the same five years ago as it is right now. So this is not an up-to-date review. And it also is talking about a bunch of different programs. It looks like it's just talking about like Udacity offers programs fill in the industry demands in cutting edge business areas like robotics, virtual reality, self-car driving. So it looks like it's just a general review. It's not even talking specifically about digital marketing. So I would say this is like a really bad review. Even though they have a lot of them, they are not high quality testimonials, reviews, and interviews. And that is the main reason why they don't come in at number one. At number one, I have the Digital Career Blueprint. This is an online program, which is very similar to an online bootcamp, right? So an online interactive program and an online bootcamp, like what is the difference? Like they're essentially the same thing. Now, because of the fact that it's an online course, an online program, and not a boot camp, it isn't on Career Karma or Course Report, but Trustpilot does have them at all five star ratings. So every single person who has commented on Trustpilot has them at a five star rating. The way the Trustpilot algorithm works is you have to have a bunch of ratings in order to get above a certain level. So they have them at 4.7 stars, which is still really great. It's self-paced, it's very comprehensive in that it covers every single type of digital marketing, but it focuses on the ones that are most likely to get you a job. And that's what makes this course so special is it tells you exactly what you need to know in order to get you a job and nothing more. This is a huge mistake that I see a lot of different course creators out there make where they try to teach you everything. And if you try to teach somebody everything, you're gonna end up teaching them nothing because they're just gonna get information overwhelmed. So this course focuses on teaching you exactly what you need to know in order to land a job. And then realistically speaking, anybody who's actually been in a job knows that you probably are gonna learn 80% of what you need to know by doing, right? By actual application. It also looks like they have a 30 day money back guarantee, which is great because a lot of the boot camps have kind of like a sketchy, weird guarantee where it's not really a guarantee at all because you have to meet a bunch of these different weird criteria. And then the absolute best thing about this course is it has a ridiculous amount of proof that it actually works. So the course has a whole team, but the person who started the Digital Career Blueprint is named Seth Jared. And between his Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn, he literally has like thousands of different, you know, testimonials, interviews, and reviews. And these are high quality as well. So typically he will actually get on an interview with the person, ask them a bunch of questions, and it'll be kind of a back and forth type conversation. So it has context. It's not just some sort of exit survey where you're like, tell me your favorite thing about this course. And then the person says the favorite thing about the course, and then they put that up and pretend like that's a review. On top of that, these are all people that you can look up on LinkedIn. So the reviews that aren't video interviews have proof. You can typically look these people up on LinkedIn. You can ask them, hey, what did you think about the course? And usually they would be more than happy to help you if they actually log into their LinkedIn, because let's be honest, most of us don't. So it literally has more evidence that the course works than all of the other boot camps combined. Now the course itself is about $797, which I wouldn't be surprised if that increases in the near future because the next cheapest one was like $4,000. And this one has just way way more testimonials, way more results, et cetera. Seth does have a free masterclass. You can check that out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment. That goes over the different types of digital marketing, uh, whether digital marketing is a good fit for you, and just some stats and statistics about digital marketing so you can see if it's something that would interest you. But yeah, this course is the best price. It uh, gets the best results. It gets people jobs in a lot of the time in like three months or so. And on top of that, it has an insane amount of testimonials, interviews, reviews, et cetera. So it's really like there's just an overwhelming amount of evidence that it actually works. 
And I'm honestly not a big fan of the boot camp model when it comes to getting a job in digital marketing. I think boot camps are great for some careers out there, but the low ratings for a lot of the different boot camps, just, you know, especially when you compare them to like tech sales or like a coding boot camp, that tells me that it's just not a good model for getting into digital marketing. And the online course model is probably better. Check out this video here where I interviewed somebody who became a digital marketer in a very short amount of time. Also gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video and I will see you next time.